Hi, I'm Adrian Himmelheber. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have the beautiful Red Rock Resort in the background. It's a beautiful day here in Las Vegas, about 90 degrees, a little breezy. And today I am going to introduce footwork patterns that I've been working with a player of mine. She came to me very right leg dominant on the backhand. So whether she got a deep ball, she was always stepping with the right foot. And on the forehand side, she was hitting a lot of open. The squared stance wasn't as comfortable. So today I'm working some progressions with her that'll include doble ritmo, the walking step, a goalie shuffle, and then we're gonna introduce to her the Rafa power step that made him so famous besides the buggy whip and all of the spin that he's created with wrist control. Uh, his signature uh, footwork pattern is the power step, or I like to call it the Rafa. So we're going to break those down today. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. I've had the opportunity to work with the best players and coaches in Spain. They have a system that works. So I'd love for you to understand that Spanish method. Please click like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. I'd love to send you that free gift of the Nadal Secrets and I hope you enjoy today's lesson. All right, we're here with one of my students, Mila. We're gonna introduce doble ritmo, we're gonna work the patterns, and then we're gonna work into walking step. You'll get a couple angles of this so you can have some reference and um, enjoy today's lesson. So Mila, first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna work the up and back, and work in a sideways V here. We're gonna start doble ritmo on the front, and then doble ritmo on the back. Let's just make sure that when we're going doble ritmo on these balls, we're stepping in on the front foot, and then we're gonna play the defensive ball with doble ritmo. We're gonna make sure we load off the back foot. A couple key points that I wanna make clear. When you hit off the front foot, we work that recovery step into <clears throat> getting back in position, and then we go doble ritmo, we're gonna hit off the back foot, but I want both knees pointing to our target, both toes pointing to our target when we're done. And just for a frame of reference, I want that elbow as well pointing to the target with the butt of the racket. All right, we'll start right now. Let's go without the ball. Doble ritmo, here we go, ready. Good. There it is, good. Let's go a little bit more diagonal, good work. There, we're gonna work this direction. Good, well done. Keep working. Let's go a little wider on the elevated split step, ready? There we go. Wide base, low hips, low knees. We wanna work movements, not muscles, okay? Linear movement, uh, sprint drills, running side to side, that's all gonna take us so far. We wanna move like a cat on the tennis court. We wanna move in shapes. We wanna make sure that we have that base every time and that balance before we hit the ball. Good, keep that balance. Good doble ritmo. Wide base, low hips, low knees. Good, elevated split. Good work. One more, good. Now I'll go diagonal or back or front. So I'm just gonna try to trick you. If I point here, you go doble ritmo back. If I point here, you go doble ritmo up. Ready, go. Ready, go. When you see that hand point, I wanna see that elevated split. Go. Elevated split, go. Good. Elevated split, go. Good, go, go, good. Let's go diagonal more, go. There, good work, and rest, good work. Okay, now we're gonna introduce the walking step. This is when we don't have as much time, we have to cover ground. The doble ritmo is when we're trying to establish rhythm. 
this is going to be a quicker pattern walking step one thing i worked with mila the other day is just keeping space and not that this is wrong bringing that scissor kick out but we're just working space so once she's here we've got that space with our feet we get pulled out farther in the court that would be more ideal to stop our momentum but we're just going to really work balance and we're going to just isolate the forehand side All right, here we go yes just wide good elevated split good good a little quicker now good good legs good wide base on that split five four three two one beautiful good work work these wrist controls just a couple of them just so you feel it good i want to get that racket over we haven't hit a ball yet but the focus today is on the footwork but it does help our confidence if the balls actually go into the court so we're just priming a couple Good, okay, let's work that walking step. We'll go a set of eight balls. Here we go, elevated split with that walking step. Good, good, good work that spacing. Good, good. Keep working, good, wide base. Two, beautiful, and one. Bravo, good work, great job. Mila doble, doble ritmo. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. Good. Turn that heel on the back. There you go. Well done. Wide base. Good. Load that left leg. Good work. Elevated split. Good. Load and explode. Good. Turn that heel, good work, two more. Last one, load and explode. Sit in that chair, good work. Elevated split, good work. Well done. Okay, Mila, now we're gonna work the walking step. We'll go side, back, side, front, okay? And I'll guide you through it. Here we go, ready, go. Side, good work. Back, good, side. Good, front, good, side, good, back, good, side, good, front, and rest. Good work. Okay, now we're gonna introduce a goalie shuffle. So we're gonna track the ball like a goalie, then we're gonna work doble ritmo and then recover, track the ball like a goalie with a shuffle, doble ritmo and recover. All right, here we go. Let's go fighter's feet and split, go. Good, and split, go. Good, and split, good. And split. Good, now we're gonna keep this rhythm. And then I'll point to a side and then you go, okay? Ready? Good, and we go back into this rhythm. And go. Last one, go. 
good. And then we stay back in rhythm and split. Good work, fantastic. Okay, so last phase here is the power step or the Rafa, okay? Shot that is his signature. You're gonna, we're gonna work this footwork pattern. So we're gonna go loading off the right at full sprint. We're gonna make contact and then land on our left and then that recovery step comes around, okay? If I'm showing you here, we're gonna load that right leg. It's almost like we wanna let that racket, I'm sorry, that, that tennis ball dangle a little bit like a carrot. So we don't wanna run into it. And when I'm working these drills, I'm really trying to push her off the court so it feels very situational and not so isolated where she can kind of jam herself or ruin her spacing. So you're gonna see Mila load that right leg and stretch out to land and then recover. I'm gonna have her work some shadow movements just to get comfortable with the pattern. And then we're gonna just incorporate some feed so it feels a little bit more realistic. Okay, Mila, here we go, ready? And go. There it is, good. And I want two crossovers on the way back, but that looks great. There it is. One, two, and split. Good. One, two, and split. Here's why we want two crossovers. We want to cheat a little bit and buy a little time on the recovery. Now, there's two options here. When you actually train this shot, you can go high and heavy, either middle, cross court, or down the line you give yourself margin, or this could be a passing shot, or you see an opening where someone's way off the court and then you pull the trigger. Let's go one more set without the ball. Good. Last two. Good. Give me one more. Good. Two and rest. Good work. And let's work. We're going to go eight balls. Don't forget this wrist control and elbow extension, okay? A little higher with the elbow. Let's work that wrist control as well. But the focus today is the footwork. So the bonus would be just making them or adding that little part to the process. Here we go. Ready? Elevated split. I'm going to drag you out here. Good. Go. There it is. Good. Work that lunge there. I'm really trying to push you out. There it is. Good. Otherwise, if I give you too much time, you're just going to end up hitting open stance. Good. Last three. Here we go. Two. Good work. And I'm going to give you a bonus here. Turn the hips a little bit more on this one when you make contact. Go. There it is. Bravo. Good work and rest. Great work today. If you enjoyed today's free lesson, Please turn on your notifications. I've worked with some of the best players in Spain. They have a system that works. They've worked with all skill levels. I'd love to give you that free gift. Just make sure you turn on your notifications. Click the link somewhere on this page. And I look forward to seeing you on the court soon.